Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? I am so glad that you are here for Chapel Friday again with us. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to pray with you. Then we're going to have the flag salutes. We're going to have some worship music and a speaker, just like we do at school. So to start off, would you please just bow your heads and close your eyes, and we're going to pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for each one of the students that is listening this morning. Lord, we pray a blessing on our whole entire school, Lord. All of the Faith Christian School students, from the eighth graders who are getting ready to graduate, all the way down to the preschoolers. Lord, we know that, that this school looks different, that uh, we are missing some of the things that are so special to us. We pray that um, you would comfort and encourage those students who are sad. Uh, Lord, help us to do our schoolwork diligently at home and help us to keep our eyes on you as we finish this school year strong, Lord. We look forward to doing some of those things that we didn't get to do, Lord. We ask that you would just allow those to be possible. Thank you again for taking care of us during this difficult time. We love you, Jesus. We ask this in the name of your son. Amen. And now for the flag salutes with Colby. Colby, are you there? Stand for the flag salutes. Right hand over your heart. Christian flag first. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. And now the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God.
Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. 
Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved.